This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector quartered sphere graphic using Inkscape and at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and I'll get started here in Inkscape. By the way if you'd like to know how you could uh, make Inkscape appear darkened with these custom icons a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is set up the page so that the view is set to custom and we'll zoom in at one to one. We'll open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button up here. We're gonna want Last Selected chosen from that dropdown and then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, draw a, uh, a circle. So let's grab the uh, Circles and Ellipses tool, hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And I'm gonna convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path and I'll bring the opacity down in half and I'm gonna grab the select tool and I'm gonna right click that and go to duplicate and I'm gonna turn the duplicated copy red and I'm gonna take this side arrow and just bring this in and take this side arrow and bring that in bring this in a little more we wanna make this copy to be about that wide and then I'll hold shift and click on the black circle and make sure it's centered on the vertical and horizontal axis and then we can click off that to deselect everything. So I'll click on just the, um, the red circle right here, this little red sliver, and I'll right click that and go to duplicate, and I'll rotate that 90 degrees clockwise, and then hold shift and click on the other red object, and I'm going to duplicate them, but instead of right clicking, I'll just hit control D on the keyboard to duplicate them. So control D, unify them together by going to path, union, and then hold shift and click on the black circle, and go to path, difference, and then path, break apart. And then we can click off of that to deselect everything. And you'll see we've broken this up into four individual pieces like that. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to click on this red shape and then hold shift and click on the other red shape. And we're going to duplicate them again by hitting control D. And we'll go to path, intersection. And we'll turn that green. So, um... What I'll do now is I'm going to take that green object and duplicate that by hitting Control D and then hold Shift and click on this horizontal red object and go to Path, Difference, and then Path, Break Apart. And then hold Shift and click on this red shape and then while still holding Shift, click on that red shape to deselect them both. And what you're going to be left with here is a bunch of little fragmentation that get caught up in the uh, in our design. And with that, with those fragments selected, we can just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. Because if we don't, it's going to cause some problems moving forward. So now that we've done that, we now have this broken up into two different pieces. And I'm actually going to click on that one and then hold shift and click on the other one and just make those blue just to differentiate them from the other red shapes. And then click off of that to deselect everything. And I'm going to take this green object, duplicate that again by hitting Control D, and then hold Shift, and we're going to do the same thing to this red object. So we'll hold Shift and click on that red object, the vertical one, and go to Path, Difference. And we can go to Path, Break Apart, hold Shift, click on that red object, still holding Shift, click on this red object, object deselect them, and press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of those fragments. And what we want to do now is we want to take this green shape and break this up into two separate halves with the line going diagonally. So uh, I'm going to click on that green object. I'll hit Control D to duplicate that. And I'll make that yellow. And I'm going to turn on the snap to cusp nodes. And I'm going to uh, press B on the keyboard to get the Bezier pen, which is over here. And I'm going to snap to this corner and then snap to this corner and then finish the shape going up around the outside like that go back to the select tool we'll turn off the snap to cusp nodes we're done with that and with this new shape that we just drew selected I'm gonna hit control D to duplicate that and I'll hold shift and click on this yellow shape going inside of our drawn shape here and go to path intersection and then I'll click on this shape the duplicated copy and hold shift and click on the green object going outside of that shape and go to path difference and then click off of that to deselect everything. And you'll see we've broken everything up into individual little pieces which we're gonna to need to construct our graphic here. So uh, what I wanna do now is let's click off of that and deselect everything. I'm gonna hold shift, click on the blue object, still holding shift, click the green and the yellow and the red, holding shift the whole time so we have them all selected. 
and I'm going to duplicate all of them by hitting control D and then I'll hold shift and click on this black object to the top left and go to path union and you'll see what that did was it created that little shape that we're going to need here to create the rest of this graphic so we're going to go around and do this to the rest of these so I'm going to click on this uh, red object right here I'll hit control D to duplicate that hold shift click on the black object to the lower left and go to path union and again you'll see we've created that object there and this one down here is fine as it is and what I want to do now is I want to take this blue object I'll hit control D to duplicate that hold shift click on the black object to the top right and go to path union and you'll see we've constructed that shape there so let's click off of that to deselect everything the next step would be to take this green object right here and we'll hit control D to duplicate that and then hold shift and click on the blue object on the left and go to path union and then we could hold shift and click on this black object up top and this black object on the bottom so we have them all selected and, and hold control and just pull this out to the left a little bit and then we can click off of that to deselect everything so the next thing we want to do is click on the yellow object right here hit control D to duplicate that and hold shift click on the blue object and go to path union and we'll take the yellow object again hold shift click on the red object and go to path union then we want to take the green object hold shift click on the red object beneath it and go to path union and then click off of that to deselect everything so the next step for us is to click on this black object to the top left hold shift click on the red object next to it and then while still holding shift click on the black object to the right and with all three of those selected we could hold control and just move this up about that much about the same distance that we move these objects to the left and once we've done that we can click off of that to deselect everything you'll notice everything's starting to take take form here so uh, what we could do now is click and drag over everything bring the opacity all the way up and you'll see we have to play around with the layers a little bit so we'll click off of that to deselect everything I'm gonna hold shift and click on this red object and this black object to the right and I'm gonna raise that to the top then I'll click on this black object to the left raise that to the top then I'll click on this black object raise that to the top and we can click off of that to deselect everything and if you notice you'll see we have the structure we have the shape ready we just have to color it in now so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these black objects and I'm gonna make them um, a gradient of blue like you see here to make it appear more like a sphere so I'm gonna uh, hold shift and click on all of the black objects and unify them together by going to path union and just make sure we raise that back to the top and uh, come down here to the color picker I'm gonna pick a light shade of blue like that and I'm gonna give this under the fill tab I'm gonna click on uh, radial gradient and we'll press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool and I'm gonna click on this great this stop right here bring the opacity up and then I'm gonna double click this line right here to create a new stop and then double click it again right above it to create another new stop so we should have four in total one two three four and I'm gonna take this stop right here and bring this up to here and I'm going to bring the opacity of that, well not the opacity, I'm going to take the L column we're working with the HSL tab here, under the HSL tab I'll take the L column slide that to the left to make that darker and bring that out like that and I'll take this stop right here and I'll slide that out a little more like that bring the, uh, bring the L column of this up a little bit maybe like that and for this one we can bring that all the way to the right and make that white and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and move this up. I'm going to grab the center one and move this up to about here, like that. Maybe right about there. And I'll hold Control and Shift and grab this, this node to the far right and just pull that in and bring that in a little bit. And maybe I'll take this node and bring that in a little bit. Just adjust it until it looks about right. I'd say that's close enough. And then we can uh, grab the Select tool. And what I want to do now is I want to create like a little bit of like a, a little bit of a shine of a light if you see here it's kind of like a, a white object so to do that I'll grab the circles and ellipses tool and hold control and shift and click and drag to create a circle maybe about that big 
grab the select tool, position this right about here, bring the opacity down a little bit, maybe about that much, and then take, uh, maybe I'll just make this a little bigger. I'm just holding control and shift and pulling out the arrow to do that. I'll take um, our sphere object right here and I'll duplicate that by hitting control D and then hold shift and click on the, uh, the white object and go to path intersection. I'm just going to drop the opacity of that a little more. That's pretty good. I'll click off of that to deselect. I'm actually going to press G on the keyboard to get back to the gradient tool and I'm going to click on our sphere and I'm just going to play with this a little more. I don't quite like how that came out. That's Maybe I'll pull that out a little more. That's pretty good. And again, you could just hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag that handle to pull that in and out and stuff. So I'm going to leave that right about there. That's pretty good. And I'll go back to the select tool. Click off of that to deselect everything. The next thing we want to do is color in the, the uh, inside here green. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a, like a makeshift shadow effect in there. So first, uh, let's, let's make this green. I'm going to click on this blue object. The hold shift, click on that blue object. And come down to the color picker and choose a shade of green for that. Uh, maybe something like that. That's pretty good. I'll click on this red shape. Hold shift, click on that red shape. And I'll pick a similar shade of green, but maybe a little darker, just to add a little bit of contrast. That's pretty good. Click off of that to deselect everything. And finally, we just got to add in a little bit of a shadow there. So to do that, I'm going to click on the blue objects, our blue sphere, and I'm going to break them apart by going to Path, Break Apart, click off of it to deselect everything, and I'm going to take just the top two blue objects. I'm going to hold Shift and click on each of those two, and I'm going to duplicate them by hitting Control D, and I'll unify them together by going to Path, Union, and um, I'll make them black, bring the opacity down a little bit, and I'll hold Control and I'll just click and drag these down about that far. Oh, you know what? Let me undo that. We're going to have to add this dark green object to that as well. So let's grab this dark green object. We'll hit Control D to duplicate that. And then hold Shift and click on the black uh, duplicated copy we just created and go to Path Union. And then hold Control and move this down to about there. Maybe about that much. Then what I want to do is I want to take this green object right here and hold Shift, take that green object, oops, take that green object right there and we'll duplicate them by hitting Control D. Unify them together by going to Path, Union, and hold Shift and click on the black object and go to Path, Intersection, and then lower that down one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, six. Yeah, it looks like six steps to get it beneath there, so it looks like we have a little bit of a shadow there. And I'm going to bring the opacity down a little more because it's not contrasting well with the darker green. Maybe about that much, that's pretty good. And click off of that to deselect, and then we just have to do the same thing to the right side here. So we'll take this blue object, hold shift, click that blue object, we'll duplicate them by hitting control D. Actually no, hold shift and click the green object as well. And we'll duplicate all three of them by hitting control D. Unify them together by going to path, union, make them black, bring the opacity down about in half. And I'll hold control and click and drag this off to the right a little bit. And I'll take the dark green object down here, duplicate that, control D. Take this dark green object over here up top, control D to duplicate that. And hold shift, click on the other green object and go to path, union. And then hold shift and click on our black object and go to path, intersection. And again, we're going to lower this down a few steps until it goes beneath the blue object. So we'll go to one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, it looks like we had to lower it nine times. But what happened now is this green object is above it. So we'll take that green object and just lower that to the bottom. And that's pretty good, just like that. And I'll just take this black object. I'm going to bring the opacity of that down a little bit. That's a little too, a little too dark. And you know what? We'll have to take this lighter green object. It's now sitting above the dark green object. So we'll just lower that to the bottom. And that's pretty good. Uh, what we have now is, let me click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to press plus on the keyboard to zoom in a few times. We have this black object is in the way now. So I'm going to take this green object and I'll right click that and go to duplicate. 
then hold shift and click on this black object and go to path difference and that should not be the case any longer so I'll press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100 percent I'm gonna click and drag over all of it and group it together and if you'd like to know how you can make it have like this little uh, this casted shadow effect I'll do that now I'm just gonna hold control and shift and scale that down a little bit I'm gonna right click that and go to duplicate and ungroup it unify it all together by going to path union and I'll turn that black and click on it a second time to get the rotation handles which will give us this little crosshair in the section in the center I'm gonna hold control and grab that crosshair and just bring that straight down until it snaps to the bottom and then I can click on this again to get back to the scaling handles and I'll grab this top arrow and just bring that down about that much click on it again to get the rotation handles I'll take this top middle arrow and just slide that to the left and I'll lower that one step so it goes beneath maybe I'll just bring that down a little more and just bring the opacity down and that's it um, we've now created our vector quartered sphere graphic using Inkscape so if you have any questions let me know and as always thank you for watching